Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Matt from MGD Gaming Bob, and today we have the final lists of the budget category of the deck sleeves tournament that we've been doing. So uh, these are the BCW sleeves. These are the Star City Game sleeves. Take a quick look at the pricings of each. We'll go over the five categories that they're being ranked in to see who reigns supreme in the budget category. Five categories are durability, crunchability, shuffle ability, touch and feel, and value. So, um, real quick, we'll start off, I've done with every video, and we'll go with the value, or I'm sorry, the, um, the dollar, what they cost. So $23 for a pack of 500, divide that by five, it's about $4.60 for a, to get 100 cards or 100 sleeves. Um, I know that you can buy them, I think in bigger bundles, or maybe this is also cheaper because I bought these in November 23rd last year. Uh, so you might be able to buy them cheaper. You might have been able to buy them cheaper before COVID, but who knows? Um, but at the moment, that's what they're going for: twenty-three dollars for a pack of five hundred, which means about four dollars and sixty deck. However, they're not the cheapest. Surprising, they they might be the cheapest now. Um, but if you wait for the Star City games, uh, right now they're two ninety-nine for a pack of fifty. But when I bought these, they were on sale for half off. And they typically do these sales a couple times a year from what I can tell. I've seen them on sale a couple times already. So I'm going to be ranking them as if they were half off. Now you just have to wait for them to win. You'll have to wait for them to come on sale and pick them up if you decide to buy them. But anyways, okay. So uh, we'll go durability. Uh, neither one of them are great. I'll say that from the get-go. Uh, but we'll re we'll reevaluate. I won't do the torture test because we, we I can already show you uh, the torture test of the BCWs. I'll be honest. I've 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 done the torture test um, four times now. Uh, failed. Failed. Uh, this was me. Wait. This was me. Really, really, really pulling at the bottom. The bottom seems super sturdy. The sides are horrible. The sides fail like almost instantly. Um, little bit of pressure and they just kind of peel open. It's pretty rough. Um, but. These successfully passed every time, surprisingly. So we can already say durability, as far as durability is concerned, these will protect your cards and not split open definitely more than these. Uh, there are, they'll be more durable than, than the BCWs. Now, the BCWs at the moment are cheaper, so keep that in mind. But as far as durability is concerned, I'd say these are like a five to six out of 10 because they do pass the torture ability, the, tor the torture test, but they have the problem with the sleeves. Um, they look at that. They, they're just, this is like 50 games of play and the corners are already peeling. And I feel like that over maybe 200, 300 courses, uh, 200, 300 games, it's gonna peel open. We'll see, I'll continue using them and we'll see how it feels. Uh, crunchability, we've rated these at uh, a solid uh, five out of ten. Not horrible. Not the worst I've ever felt. Oh, no, we went four out of ten of these. I would say four out of ten on these. Uh, they're not terrible, but they're not great. Crunchability on these sleeves here. Ooh, that was a bad. Three out of ten at least. Four out of ten. It might might be about about the same. No, uh, we'll say three out of ten. Slightly slightly better. Uh, shuffle ability, since I just did them, that's kind of, I guess they're really similar category, but have different meanings. The shuffle ability is how I feel like when they, when you smash them together, how easy it is to continue to shuffle without putting enough force to like squish the cards in, if that makes any sense. Um, they're both decent. Um, I would say they're both a six out of 10. They're not bad. These feel smoother, so six and a half. Slight, slight edge, slight edge. Uh, touch and feel, I love the way these feel. I hate the way these feel. Uh, the BCW sleeves feel cheap and chintzy and crappy. The Star City Game sleeves actually have, I don't know why, but it's like this, it's this feeling, this smooth buttery feeling at, on the front of the card. It just feels nice. It just feels, it feels kind of premium, I'll be honest, a little bit. Um, it just feels nice. Now I think that 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 will rub away rub away when this eventually comes up comes up. Hopefully not. Maybe it stops. I don't know. Uh, but at the moment, that's what we got to go with. So 
Uh, touch and feel, I'll say like a 6 out of 10 on these and a 4 out of 10. Don't really like the way they feel. They feel cheap and chintzy and crappy and they've split apart really easily. I imagine over the course of a lot of games, these will just start ripping in. Uh, as far as value is concerned, at the moment, the BCWs win, but on sale, the Star City games win um, significantly. Because when they go on half off, I mean, you're getting 300 sleeves for, uh, or 100 sleeves for $3, and free shipping, a pretty good deal. Uh, Honestly, I, it's it's rough because I hate the way the BCW slaves feel, and I think that that alone makes me pick the pick the creature comfort sleeves for Star City Games, which is I did not think, but the way these split open and the way they they feel in the hand, I just don't like them. They've got this really, I don't even know how. To, oh, it's like those really cheap binders that have that like really crappy plastic with the cardboard. That's what it feels like. It feels horrible. I don't like it at all. I hate the BCW. So I have to I have to say that they lose, even though they're technically cheaper right now by like a dollar fifty. And I'll say that the creature comforts from Star City Games reign supreme just by the feel of them in the hands. They just feel better. I don't know that they'll last longer. I think they both have issues with longevity. But as far as a budget sleeve's concerned, I would be completely happy with buying these for whenever they go on sale, you buy like a thousand of them. You buy all kinds of different creature. They, they, they just look better. The cute little fox you got going on here. Um, they have all kinds of other, they got, they got, they got wolves. They got all kinds of stuff. Great pictures. They actually look really good. They're really well done and they're cheap as long as you can get them on sale. So hunt for them to be on sale, buy a bunch of them. I bought like a thousand of them. I bought all kinds of different things, and I would say use them when you go into a card shop and you go to draft. Uh, use them in drafts. Use them in... I don't use them like disposable sleeves. I don't know that I would run them in a deck that I play every day. Um, maybe I will next time. Maybe I'll take. Maybe I'll sleeve up a deck that I'll play um, just with these sleeves and see how long they last. I don't know. But yeah, I'd say they win in this uh, budget category. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time for the the Star City Game Sleeves ver the Katana Sleeve, which is thing I thought I'd never say, but man, they, uh, they've they definitely shown that they're pretty solid for the price. Definitely win the category of the budget sleeve. They are the budget king! Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.